took me for goddamn ever. I don't even have my... Get... Show it. Start the timer. Oop, I saw it. Put you up and then put you up. Boom! Jesus Christ. Today has been a whirlwind. why that one stream was just not televised via stream cord. I don't know if it was down that day or what. Discord promo shit. There we go. Now, at some random interval, probably within the next half hour to an hour, I will have to step away from my computer for another small bit. But, until then, I'm locked in, and after that, I'll be locked in. So at the very least, we will finish out this. I'm pointing at the timer. This. I don't know if we'll finish Undertale Yellow, but we'll definitely get further. I'll tell you that much. Alright. Get my bearings together. Right, right. North Star and the farm and the corn. It's coming back to me. You attempt to turn the pump on, but the handle won't budge. Sorry, can't talk long. I'm preparing for harvest. Must be one of those wild east folk. Uh-huh, no, I didn't say anything. The cellar is locked. Must be where the harvest is stored. Welcome to Sunnyside Farm. It ain't much, but we call it home. My name's Solomon. You must be from Starlow's town, eh? I have mixed feelings about it all, if I'm being honest. Boy rarely talks to us. It's a shame. Probably thinks we hate his life choices, but that just ain't true. It's because of him that our farm stayed in business during the old drought. His little town attracted monsters to this area after most moved away. I believe that deep down saving the farm was his true motivation, I do. This is cute. Let's go inside. Actually. Okay. Oh, there we go. A dirty hat similar to Starlight's rests on the rack. Always good to have the backup. Oh, 
Hello, little one. Are you a friend of my son's? He's always making new friends. I can't keep up. In any case, make yourself at home. Thanks, ma. Fireplace is riddled with cobwebs. Regular cobwebs. You check in between the cushions for loose change. All you find are crumbs and horn brooms. A picture of Starlow and Sarupa's teenagers. Oh, that's so cute. Starlow's such a little nerd. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's a star, a desk displaying western memorabilia, and a sewing machine. A piece of fabric under the machine has been left unfinished. Oh, they're glow in the dark. That's cute. A thick farmer's almanac written by Solomon sits on the dresser, with several sticky notes poking out of the pages. A double-decker rocket ship ready to blast off into pleasant dreams. See you, space cowboy. What's this? Just some fuller corn. You know how it is. I don't. I don't know how it is. Can't go there. Okay. Alright. I'm running. I was I was gonna ring the bell, but I'm I'm glad it rang for me. Hello again, I have some news. You now can ship yourself if you so choose. Ship myself, what could that mean? Transportation all for free. If you want to travel, give me a call. We'll set to the skies without a care at all. Now I must go, but don't be nervous. Just ring the bell for our service. Okay. So like, can I get mail? Along alongside the travel, can I get mail? Hello, greetings, hip hip hooray. What can I do for you today? You have a watch if you don't, that's fine, because you know what time it is? Mail time. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. I love little the mail. Oh, wrong one. Uh doll. I think that's the new one. Because, yeah, we've read Intro, we've read Mo. We've... Greetings, Clover. Life has been a treat since we last saw each other. I packed up all my belongings and set out for Snowden. I recently found a nice place to settle down. I think you'll like it. And all my neighbors, all the neighbors moved out with me. I'm not too sure where each one went, but I know they're all doing well. I'm also taking art lessons from Penilla now. Uh, she gave me the cold truth and said my art needs a lot of improvement. It stung at first, but I remember that you should always aim to improve yourself. Look at me rambling again. I hope the mail service doesn't charge extra for that. It was nice to talk to you again, even was overwritten text. Please visit me in the future. Your life is a lot better. Dalv. Aww. I just realized Dalv is Vlad backwards. But, oh, that's so cute. This is so nice. Hold on. I'm pinning that one. That one's cute. Just so they're all... Okay. I need to, um... have some stuff I need to do. Oh! Oh, we're back. All right. There you are. I was about to come looking for you. So, the steam works. Oh, I don't want to go in there. May I ask why we're here? I, I don't I don't want to be here because of this. The mask cannot go made for you. Yes. You see, Clover, Kanako is me and Chujin's only child. 
Oh no, don't tell me. Oh no. You haven't seen her around because she... Everything will be okay. I know how tough you are. You can move past this. I'm positive. There's no need because she's alive. I feel her presence as we speak. Glad. Precise. Oh, wait. Was she a mal... Oh, did her dust get turned into an amalgamate? Clover, you may not know this, but there's a lab in Hotland. An inquiry for the fallen down was sent out some time ago. I didn't know what else to do. In my time of despair, I sent Kanako with them. It's been far too long and I haven't heard anything. I must travel to the lab to find out where my daughter is. I'm pretty Shiroba stepping out and taking charge. Been in a rut lately. It's tough to watch. Are we traveling with Mumther? So, so why travel through the Steamworks particularly? It's the quickest route to Hotland from here. Nothing but abandoned rooms as far as I know. I have Shunjin's old passcodes for any locked doors as well. Solid plan? If you need me, I'd be happy to accompany you. I don't know how ugly things at the lab may get. You need to stay here and take care of the town. I believe you owe your posse an apology. You're right. I'll take Clover with me. They've proven to be skilled on several fronts. Yeah, like rootin', tootin', and shootin'. Those fronts. An excellent choice. I trust Clover to deliver justice out there. All right, we've discussed enough. Let's get moving. I don't want to go in there. See you later, Starlo. See you later, Space Cowboy. Whatever happens, remember that this is for Chunjin's, Chunjin's legacy. Are you worried about her? Oh, Clover, before you go, I forgot to give you this. You got the deputy badge! Despite a few hiccups, our little adventure was a blast. I'll be seeing you around, partner. Oh, he's so cute. I'm so proud. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's so Sorry, I had to... A friend started streaming, and if I don't lurk in her stream, I won't get fishing points. Oh, so I'm just forced in there. Cool. Oh, cool! Remember, I'm in charge. Stay close by, and we'll reach our destination soon. Ma'am, your legs are longer than mine. Keep up, Clover. We don't have all the time in the world. I know, ma'am. I know. I see something. Follow me. Ooh, I don't like that. Guess I should have expected this. In its prime, this was the main power source of the underground. That obviously was many years ago. Until we breathe life back into this thing, we can't progress. There's some kind of console here. Maybe one of Chujin's codes will work. Just give me a second. In the meantime, you can wait over in the corner or something. Sure thing, Mom. This is the corner, right? There we go. There we go. 
Mom, I'm making moves. Okay. All right, I got that one. All right, door open. Mom, we progressing. Oi, hi hell. We making some fucking progress. Hattie, another team up. You're wasting your time, buddy. So far, these monsters have only brought you misfortune. I feel like following that lady's orders won't end any differently. Especially with that lab business. Just try your best to move things along and not get sidetracked. Hopefully we can talk soon. Good luck, Clover. Let's get you saved. Thank you kindly. Uh, why is this one bleeding? You find a stick of beef jerky inside the machine. You got beef jerky. What? The chute is clogged with a stra with strange looking plants. Smell of old unwashed clothes makes you feel queasy. A pair of cargo jeans is stuck to the table. It's been there a while. Uh, you peer inside the chamber. It's far too dark to make anything out. Okay. Okay, what does that mean? Did I turn it on? Oh. Mom, I did it. Praise me. Oh, fuck. His little side profile is really cute. Mom? It's working. Wait, what have you been up to? Oh. I wasn't actually doing anything this whole time, was I? Ugh. Alright, you're clearly more capable of problem solving. I suppose you should lead the way from now on. Just head west from here and we'll reach Hotland eventually. The banger kicks in. It really is a banger. Okay, so nothing in here. Steamworks. What luck. Turn the power on, the whole facility goes insane. Since you're now the leader and all, how about you run ahead and turn the steam off? I think I see a switch over there, so no problem, right? Don't worry, I'll catch up. Oh, fuck. I'm fine. I'm fine. We're fine. See, no sweat. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sweaty right now. Ah, not that way. Yep. Back. Oh, these are flowers. Interesting. Ooh. I don't like the smell of this place.
Excellence in Engineering Award, Dr. Rupert Oscar. Decency in Engineering Award, Professor Daniels. You tried an Engineering Award, Mr. Chujin Kitsukane. Uh, he never told me he won an award. Uh, I'm proud of him. Greatness and you can't make out the rest. So he wasn't actually that great an engineer or? Oh no. Oh my God, it's a robot. Okay. Um. Axis model 14, ready to guard and protect. Intruder spotted, Steamworks Eastern Branch. Wait, who are you? Axis model 14, ready to guard and protect. You just said that. My vocabulary is not expansive, ma'am. Okay. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. If you let us through, we'll be out of your hair. One, I do not have hair. Two, I cannot allow you to pass. You've trespassed on private property. You've also utilized machinery without permission. We're just heading to Hotland. We aren't malicious in the slightest. It was us who woke up the place. Isn't it nice to have power? While it is nice to be operational again, it is also not nice. I am the last of my kind to police this area. All of my comrades have rusted over. I always knew I was the best, but I am also lonely now. <laughs> oh well. I will now trap you in a cold, dark room for which you might perish. My husband, Chujin, used to work here. I have permission. Don't make me hurt you. Chujin, my creator? Huh? Sorry, I do not see him present. Goodbye. Damn. Squeak. Ouch. Can't say I was prepared for that. I knew my husband was an engineer, but he never told me about that guy. He'd mentioned a robotics project that could net him a promotion, but he stopped talking about it after he quit his job here. Ugh. I would have used force to bypass Axis, but I'm not so sure now. He may be the last remnant of Chujin's talent. It would be best if we could just avoid him from now on. In any case, we're pretty lucky he's the only guard bot around. Wait a second. I have an idea. You mentioned how he was lonely, right? What if we fix that? You look lonely. I could fix that. We could use Scraps lying around to forge a companion for him. He doesn't seem too bright after all. Maybe that's all we need to distract him. What do you think? Yeah. Let's make him a friend. Great. It's the best plan I could think of. Though, so, we seem to be in some sort of storage room. Look around for parts we can use. Shouldn't be- shouldn't take many. Yes. Okay, we'll need three more objects. What about... TV? Two more, okay. The bow for sure. The bow. Come on. Come on. There we go. I knew it. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, this one. This one will do. Yeah, yeah. An alarm clock, a TV, a stereo, and a bow. Let's fucking go. She does little, like, hippity hoppities. It's simple, but recognizable. Not bad. That takes care of that. You're kind of creative when push comes to shove. 
all due respect to Chujin's work, but this might just pull access. I'll hold on to it for you. Let's get out of here, yeah? Yeah, um, I threw some stuff on the ground. The door is locked. The vent is a few loose screws. You finagle it open. Let's fucking go. Can't say that was fun. Let's be extra cautious from now on. Wait, another robot? Gee, you're too clean. Let's stay in that vest. No way, we can't fight this thing. What if Chujin built- You know what? We'll talk later. Let's find a peaceful way around them. I'll do my best to provide defense for us. Smells like poor choices. Jandroid. Question. You asked Jandroid what the primary directive is. To clean- I mean help all germs conquer the land. Fuck. Fuck. You look Gingeroid over and tell them they need a shower. Don't come any closer. Oh god. Ah, ah fuck. Fuck. This is hard. Toss this garbage this way and that. You offer to give Gingeroid a scrub. They seem offended. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I want the beef jerky. Max out. Scrub dub dub, sewage in the tub. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Ugh, it's a dead end. Looks like we're gonna have to... The, the, the floor is lava, travelers. I am sorry to say I failed the game some time ago. However, you don't have to. I will ferry you across the lake. This bot doesn't seem malicious. That's new. I say we give it a go. Thank you for your trust. With my help, the floor will not be lava. It will just be floor. Let's go. Ah, uh, okay. Again, best get on with it. Watch your stuff. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. It's pretty easy to avoid, but still. Fuck! Fuck! Okay. Oh. Okay. So we go back to the manta ray and we play
we play a little more. Take a ride. The topmost paper is a handwritten letter to King Asgor. This project, while exciting, will be quite the undertaking. We will need mining code to work overtime to provide the necessary materials. Furthermore, a meeting was conducted at the factory. I'm happy to report that everyone is on board. There are already many great robot ideas floating about. Cooking, cleaning, recreation, the motivation is through the roof. Though, one engineer suggested we take this further with a protection bot. I'm quite unsure about that proposition, but you have the final say. In any case, we will see this completed. You find 60G in the trash can. Yeah, that's mine. Only trash left. So I can't go that way. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's Mo! Bam! It's your boy, Mo. Hi, Dad. How did I get here? I got contacts. I got eyes all over the ground. Enough chit chat, though. It's business time. You know, I'm always scouting for the next big thing, right? Right. So I was on my way here, spotted a bunch of glowy plants on the wall. First thought that sprung to my mind? Taste them. And I'll tell you what, the stuff hit me like wham. Best cuisine you'll ever experience, truly. Uh, you got something. I ain't done with the pitch yet, miss. This is important. But, like I was saying, plants more than please. I even molded them into recognizable food shapes for that visual appeal. Visual appeal is half the battle, I say. Ain't nobody gonna buy a product if it looks ugly, right? But you would, I know it. Old Mo can always count on your business. You okay? Never better. Now where's my stand? I, uh, I have a few products left in my pocket. Don't go yet. Here's what I got. I can buy everything. It's still open for business. I'm buying everything. I ain't the down to earth type, but uh, thanks, you know, for supporting me so much. He emptied my inventory every time we cross paths. I knew doing that would be. Give him some fucking dialogue. I've been in a bit of a financial trouble, to be frank. But because of you and a little luck, I might be able to put that behind me. You done good, kid. Catch you later. Don't... Oh. Mo out. Damn, Mo, that was smooth. What the hell? <laughs> She's probably so confused, also. Moss Salad 17. Looks like it could be from another world. Grassy Fries 14. A pile of thin strings with a layer of fuzz over top. 
flower stew heals 20 a cup of aromatic broth the floral garnish Okay, so there's nothing else there. You've reached your destination. Thanks for the help. Let's keep moving, Clover. If you need another ride, I'll be here. Wait, what was that other place then? Yeah, what, what was that other place? Hold on. Should I have just tried the doors? Like... Slurp, slurp. Ah, nothing like Steamworks Boba Soup TM to fuel the engine. What? Don't act like you've never heard of it. Yeah, I, I don't know how to get in here. Escape convict spotted. Steamworks office branch. Oh no, run. Oh. Halt. You are coming with me. Stay here while I get the tall lady. Do not touch anything. Well, I'm touching everything. Um. Lance? papers are scattered on the table. Seems to be an unfinished proposal for security camera installation. A highly competitive game of chessers was played here. Scribbles and doodles of surprising quality lie on the table. You wish you could draw that well. Why? Why? Have you seen my wife? Oh, wait. Shit. Wait, I wanted to talk to that TV. Fuck. No, I went back into that little room. Enough running. Do you have the ability to cooperate or are you toying with me on purpose? Either way, I'm starting to really hate you. What TV is Curry here? Nah, there's there's like that TV and then there's also like this little monitor. A portable coolant dispenser. Handy. Trash can. Security station would be useful to track roaming robots if there were any cameras in the steam room. The mummified remains of an abandoned pizza party. Not even you were brave enough to try a slice. The security okay, so yeah, it's a little security station. Alright. It's time. Oh, there's so much stuff I want to interact with. Oh, there's so much stuff I want to interact with. Oh, there's so many Kurtz around. Oh, fuck. Clover, the lockers. Follow me. Damn. I think we fucking fooled this man. Ow. 
Yeah. How? I have no idea. Ha <laughs> ha. This guy means business. My husband was one hell of an engineer. I just wonder why he kept all this from me. He could have left me with some sort of off switch, right? The robot. I totally forgot about our plan. Sorry. Next time we see him, we'll try it for sure. Uh, considering we're about to go, like, probably run into him. Well, let me... Wait. There we go. We're running. Found you. Fuck. Oh, Dilly. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. What the hell? Fuck. Yikes! That looked painful. Brush yourself off and get back at him. All right. All right, I know the way now. Oh fuck! I think I have to get caught like the one time. We get the hell out of here. Can I re-save so I don't have to do that? Oh, hey. Wait. Wait, how? Go back to your room. Oh, so I can't save, huh? Okay, all right. All right, fuck you. An extra special fuck you. Extra special fuck you. Hate you. Can I go through all of this just to, like, save again? Or is he just, like, out there again? Like, I hate to backtrack all this way and it's like the save point isn't there. Or like they won't let us go outside for some reason. Ah, oh, thank god. Alright, so now if I die, it's not nearly as much backtracking. A little bit, but not nearly as much. 
I want to interact with stuff, but I'm pretty sure they they didn't make anything interactable for like a reason. He just barely can't hit me. Oh, fuck. There we go. Hold on a second. One. One million seconds. I do not have the knowledge to count that high. What is this about? I have a surprise for you, a special one. I will admit you have my attention. Proceed. I have for you your very own robot companion. A sleek top of the line model. Aren't they beautiful? No, not in the mood. My eyes are only set on your apprehension. Goodbye. You're making them cry, Axis. Come on now. Robots cannot cry. I've tried. Goodbye. Well, it was worth the shot. Plan C it is. I am immobile. If you went with our surprise, it wouldn't have gotten messy. Do not mock my judgment. I will return to capture you. With new hands. Oh my god. Spent. Next chair we see, I'm taking a breather. So you're just, just taking the robot with us again, huh? Oh, there's a chair. Well, there we go. Definitely what I need after that madness. Oh, we're just sitting. I love them, your honor. Same. I wonder what Starla's up to right now. Probably on some feisty vibe quest with a smile on his face. I do envy him, to be wrapped in optimism and fantasy. Most might act cheerful, but life down here, it's hopeless. That's where they look to the king for assurance. They believe once he gets seven souls and breaks the barrier, he'll easily be able to overthrow whatever awaits on the surface. A rather foolish outlook, if you ask me. Who knows how the humans are prepared for retaliation since then. But I digress. We should handle our own problems first. I can't imagine what Kanako's going through right now. You haven't seen my Kanako yet, have you? Here, take a look. Oh, she's so cute. Look at that smile. Definitely her father's. Aww. Gifted like her father, too. She's a... Uh... She didn't deserve this life. I truly wish things could be different. But that's not what fate had planned. I apologize for my vagueness. I prefer to keep the bad memories to myself. Anyway, the lab shouldn't be horribly far from here. We will get to the bottom of this clover. In the meantime, you can scout ahead. I'm gonna rest for a bit longer. Yeah, just make me scout ahead, sure. I think a value resides in this trash can. Vendi Model 1 System Boot Scanning Customer. Unauthorized child detected. Go away! Go away. Gravity granola. This will kill you. Heals 30 HP. Unfiltered dirt. Bad. Dihydrogen monoxide. Oh, so that's H2O? So water. Unfiltered dirty water. Tastes like plastic. Potato chips and safety goggles. Make fucking water, isn't it? 
Safety goggles will blind you. Item dispensed. Oh, they're so happy when they dispense an item. Oh, yes, I will gladly dispense your garbage. Hand it over. Please stop. Why, 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 why? Code line 327. If a customer is determined unauthorized, treat them with utmost disrespect so they will not buy the company snacks. My disrespectful state was initiated when I scanned your dull face. Bring a Steamworks employee ID next time to experience hospitable mode. I also make that face and I dispense garbage. Until then, you may still purchase items, but I will tear apart your self-esteem while you do so. Loser. Oh my god. What about it? The Steamworks are only the finest in monster science and engineering. No big deal. Structures built from the toughest steel and greatest mind, sure to stand the test of several millennia. Searching for a more advanced facility would be like searching for the corner of a circle. With quality machines such as myself at every turn, lives are improved every day. The Steamworks, tomorrow means the surface. I am not a propaganda machine. My creator made sure I specify that. I've never even seen this vending machine. Yeah, no, I just saw the gold symbol and clicked on it and there happened to be a vending machine here. Searching for Axis in the database. Axis, latest model 14, is a robot built to act as a royal guard. Production goal, create an army of Axis guard bots to protect monster kind from humanity. Production status, discontinued. That is all of the information I have on this robot. If I were to be helpful, which I will not be, I would tell you to ask an engineer in the factory wing for more information. Where is the factory wing? I cannot tell you. You are unauthorized. Not that I trust you to find it on your own since you are in fact an idiot. Thanks, vending machine. My snacks are up to the highest Steamworks standard. I ensure the employees' designated mealtimes are as enjoyable as possible. Because of my popularity, I often run out of inventory, to which my creator restocks every Monday at 8 o'clock. That reminds me, my last boot up yesterday was a Sunday. Dr. Aro should be stopping by any minute now. I simply cannot wait. But none of that is your business. Yes, bye. Thanks for nothing. You wrap the safety goggles around your hat. It looks like it has eyes now. This fancy holster. Yeah, it was defense 8. A leather weapon holder. Perfect for duels and melee. Let's see. I'll take the iced tea and I'll be on my way. Watch it, Clover. We don't want to alert any outsiders, especially workers under Ascor like the UGPS. Your mail will have to wait. But ma, Hattie, boy, am I glad that Fox Lady let you roam free for a bit. Not being able to talk to my pal was been torture. Now I know she roped you into some lab detour, but come on, captive monsters talk about a conspiracy nut. I mean, it's like you don't want to follow my advice. Remember your real mission, Clover. The five children you set out to find in the first place. There's no need to visit that dingy lab, you know. Asgore's still out there threatening human lives. Keep your head in the game. This is our journey, not Soroba's. Hey, wait up. I think I'm ready to get back into things. Lead the way. Sorry, I was talking to my imaginary friend. Goosek has come to share some sound. Oh, wait, shit. Oh, I did not mean to do that. And now a word from our sponsor, Bullet Patterns. Oh. Oh. 
if you have headphones on, then it only affects one side of your ears. I'm gonna vibe. You move Gusick's needle to a new Palmer record. Wait, I... Oh? I know that plan. Yeah, he's a good boy. You close your eyes and tap your foot to the music. Gusick joins you. This is nice. Oh. There we go. More steam. Fantastic. One more time, Clover. You got this. There we go. I'm good. Oh, the flowers are everywhere now. Holy, what happened here? Hope this stuff is okay to touch. Yeah, me too. Various types of plants sit within several containers. The smell is unnatural. You peer into the box and find a bucket of nails. Take them, you got nails. I bet you that's ammo. Small pointed pieces of steel. Could be quite effective if fired at a high velocity. Um, don't I do like attack zero? Yeah, because I got rubber ammo. Uh... Put the nails in there. To science division. Employees have reported the generator showing more wear than ever. The engineers predict the machine won't last longer than one year from now. I need you to speed up the testing of alternate power sources. The underground depends on it. Head office. A grown over robot. You can almost make out a face on the screen. To head office. More tests are underway, both biological and mechanical. We don't know which direction will ultimately be best for monster kind yet. However, the chemistry lab did a breakthrough regarding a white plant. I'll get back to you on that once further testing is commended. Science division. To head office. I think we've got it. The white plants have proven able to generate electricity at a fantastic rate. The only issue is that they grow four times faster than normal flora. And once their power is drained, they wilt into a dark, sticky substance. If this is greenlit, we will need a new division to tend to these plants. Otherwise, working conditions will suffer greatly. To science division. The plant should suffice as a temporary solution. I've heard one of our top scientists is working toward a new compound. One made from special energy. Could be the key that we need. Much more time is necessary to develop it properly, however. As for the proposed greenhouse division, I have an idea. Cheaper, more efficient, and trustworthy. I'll send you some blueprints shortly. Thank you for your time and research. Head office. Oh, are they trying to automate it with robots? Roll the blueprints lie in a box. You take a look. The gardener. Oh, so they turn the guard robots into little gardening robots. Oh... I stepped on the flower. I was trying not to step on too many. 
was that? I am awake. Oh, no. Gardener Model 2 status damaged. Hello there. Was it you who disturbed the flora? I ask you to please have more respect. We apologize. Won't happen again. Do not worry. Being that the child is so young, it is forgivable. I will report the incident as a level 3 or level 10 events. Level 10 means the termination of the trampler. Ack! I'm stuck, Clover. We need to find a way out of this. I have incapacitated your options. I ask you to cooperate. Accept your offense, tramplers. It smells like lawnmower clippings. You must learn that plant life is important, more important than you. Oh my god. A great hostility is blossoming. If you do not yield, I will call for backup. Gardner slams her arms to the floor in agitation. You are a handful. I'm going to count to three. Ooh. So I need to... I need to get my healing items first. One second.
Ooh, all right, I'm back. I had to say goodbye to dear old Papa. He leaves for Florida for a week. Definitely has a taste. Going back up. You called for help, Gardner? Correct. This trampler does not value the greenhouse. What is the offense level, miss? 10 termination. Level 10. I mean, of course. We are sorry, offender. Gardner says you deserve termination. They know. I just said that. So, attack right. This is only getting worse. Don't stop your efforts to free us. Please stay in your confines. There we go. I... I want moss salad. The texture can only be described as insulation-esque. Almost there, almost there. All right, completely cut out. Way to go. I'll do what I can to help us escape for good. Cleverly done. You've gained my respect, but you have not gained my mercy. Bots attack. Adequate job. Thank you for your help. No problem, Gardner. Yeah, give us a call anytime. You can just hang out or something. Or not. No big deal. Gardner gives you all she's got. You plead with Gardner and it seems to have an effect. Offense level lowered. Just you and I again. It's too bad I cannot grow tired. For you, that is. to convince Gardner to stop fighting. Offense level lower. I'm here for the attack. Oh, you missed it. Seriously? Man. Hey, it's okay. Here, a flower to cheer you up. Yo, thanks. Mind if I attack a little? By all means. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. You tell Gardner this is a misunderstanding. Offense level lower. Still standing? You're rather upsetting. You ask Gardner to think about what she's doing. Offense level lower. Just wait until my creator hears about this. He will get a long lecture. A lecture more painful than anything I am doing. Through torture. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my god. Um... Root beer will fully fill me up, and I think flower stew will as well. You make sure Flowey isn't watching before trying it! Mmm, chunky. After that, the head office will give you an award. Excellence in ruining Gardner's day. Deserve. Hmm. 
to use rationale in hopes of de-escalating the situation. Wait, you... Offensive level lowered? Oh, what happened? There seems to be a gap in my memory core. I'm so sorry. I think that did the trick. You're pretty clever in intense situations. I'm impressed. Hell yeah. Oh my god, 50 gold. What the hell? I was about to do something. Oh yes, I remember. Sending level 3 report. Response to negative. I apologize. Allow me to call again. Sending level 3 report. Hello, creator? Are you there? I believe my creator may be playing a practical joke on me. Signaling Steamworks head office. Deep, the line you are contacting has been disconnected. Where? Where is everybody? Oh. I have allowed immer immense overgrowth. I understand. It seems my day has passed. Cancel report and reinitiate hibernation. I am sorry for inconveniencing you. I do not know what the world is like now, nor do I wish to. Life was much better. Not knowing. I'm so sorry, Gardner. Let's keep moving. Must avoid trampling the flowers. What the hell? I think she said Hotlands is that one. So what the hell is this? Oh, what the hell? Oh, wait. Is, is this like... Towards... Oh, I think this is towards the shop. Man, I still can't talk to the male people. Damn it. Okay, so let's buy some, uh, some stuff at the vending machine. Potato chips. I like my potato chips. Let's go. Potato chips. Ugh. Save over here. Less than half an hour, some exciting stuff. And another fight. Tele Televiz tunes in. You kind of look a little, um... While this is your favorite channel, Televiz doesn't, don't look amused. Oh, these are all past that. To help Tully finagle her antennas to find some programming. Just what I needed. Oh, check this one out. This is a good one. I did, I enjoyed that program. Who uh, passed? Uh, Hold on. Uh, 
That symbol. I've seen it on Chunjin's work uniform. Let me try one of his codes. Nope. Ugh. Well, I only have one left, but I've already used it. Here it goes. Seriously? Same code as the Dunes Gate? This kind of security, no wonder Axis is so vigilant. After you. Can we, can we, can we go right there? Okay, we can't go that way. Oh, hey. Hello? That robot is definitely not alive. Rusted through. The science is that the receptionist is unreceptive. Check with the robot control station through floor say. Robot control station. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Axis? Exactly. If there's some sort of breaker box for all robots in the area, we can shut Axis down and get to Hotland as planned. It's worth an investigation, at least. Let's go. So three floors up. An empty elevator shaft lies before you. Well then, convenience was never in today's dictionary anyway. Gotta be a staircase close by. What is this? Oh my god, he's so happy! Good morning, Steamworks employees! I hope you're ready for another day of productivity! Today we are boxing and shipping goods out into the underground. Uh, hello? Are you sentient or a pre-recording? Hello, new hire. Yes, I am fully sentient. Trapped in this two-dimensional rectangle for all eternity. Right. Can you unlock all the doors in this facility? We're in a hurry. Sorry, but each morning we do a little thing called Earn Your Freedom. Complete a full shipment and you'll be on your way. What kind of policy is that? When there's a corona to meet, ethics go out the window. Haven't you worked a job before? Of course, but I don't work here. So you're trespassing. In that case, fine, we'll do the job. Clover, this bot might have connections to access. We gotta do what it says to avoid unwanted attention. You can work this thing, right? Push the start button, we'll get it over with. What are you doing? Put red items in red boxes and blue items in blue boxes. Three strikes and you're out. Your machine's broken. The second conveyor belt doesn't move. No. Yes. It's bro- No. Screw this. Clover, you box of goods and I'll toss them into the chute. Teamwork, right? Something like that. So wait, 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 hold on. Okay, Z and then X. There we go. I got the hang of it eventually. We've earned our freedom. Hey, all right, good work, Clover. On to whatever awaits us next. Is this just another one? What the? Hello again! The shipment is almost complete. One final step and you may have the passcode to exit. All you have to do is sort each colored package by tilting left or right. Pretty obvious. Look who paid attention learning colors in preschool. Not by choice. I'll take the drop shoot up top. You man the platform. Good, good. Ready? Here goes nothing. Thank you. 
Okay, it's just arrow keys. Fine. I fucked up one, but it's fine. Ooh, coming back down. Great job, everyone. You can't spell Steamworks without teamwork. Can't spell without steak either, but that has absolutely no bearing on the situation. Let's see how you did. Calculating. Aw, oh, you barely scraped by, but that's what performance reports are for. Hey, it isn't our fault the system is so impractical. Why does it take two giant steps to, ru to ship a few packages? Why can't we sort the colors when boxing them in the first room? Beats me! You know, for being built by such great minds, the Steamworks are awfully convoluted. It takes a massive IQ to understand the complexities of the Steamworks. Your brain probably isn't advanced enough. Does the wall-mounted GIF comprised of three pixels? You know what? You can take your little passcode... Mom? Just give us the code. Of course! The passcode is 4683. Uh, I'm writing that down. It's 4628, right? I, I completely... 4683. Oops. Yeah, thanks. No, thank you, employees. Thank you for making the underground a little brighter. Uh, yeah, um... You find a stick of beef jerky in the trash can. You got beef jerky again? Metalworks Emergency Escape Plan, or me. In case someone sets the room on fire, do not use the elevator. Evacuate down to floor one or use your passcode to access floor three. Uh-huh. They really locked this place of pipe. If the code was found nearby on the first floor, let's go take a look around. The fuck? Oh, no. There you are. No way. You seriously want to do this again? Yes. Remember the explosion that incapacitated you? Yes. I retrieved brand new hands. I am unstoppable now. At some point you need to- Shush! Do not resist arrest any longer. Stand still and let my handsome hands shine. Shoot! Clover this way. My vision. Initiating 16 volts super flashlight. 95% of power utilized. Topography box hindered. What do you mean? Oh, this is most- this is bad. Oh well, unlike them, I have eyes. Okay. We need to stay out of his view and keep quiet. Hello again! Whatever you two do- As I was saying, there's got to be a code around here. Once you find it, head for the exit. A large collection of familiar stones. Unfortunately, nothing in the pile catches your eye.
What if the code was 4683? Oh, wait, A4, D4, C4, D4. Oh my god. Hello. Axis. Just the bot I was looking for. How are you doing these days? Not so good. I could only speak in 15 characters max back there. Kind of bummed me out. Sorry to hear that. Glad you got your full speech ability back. Thank you. I do like talking. Wait. Wait. Are you trying to distract me from my mission? No. Oh, okay. Can I ask you a question involving the security the Steamworks? Yes, I am a security expert. Why is it that some doors require a passcode and others require an ID? Two-factor authentication? Huh. Cool. Man, we've been in the Steamworks for a while. The Steamworks is big. Workstations. Probably another code to find. You know the drill. We'll see... You're awestruck by the absolute pipe pandemonium. Oh! It's the screensaver with the, with the 3D pipe. Wait. Bullet point. Helper bot. Every manufactured bot must have a practical function installed, a purpose, cooking, cleaning, agriculture, etc. Bot should have tiers of emotions to better integrate into society. Coding a personality in each one is recommended, makes it more personable and easier to be around. All bots are to have a strong connection with living things. If, de if deprived of this, it may become easily agitated and restless. Others may be unfazed, depends on the model. If a bot acts out of line or malfunctions, they are to be shut down. Typically, a hard reset will do the trick. Termination is last resort. If a shutdown is not possible, they can be coaxed back into their normal state. Absolutely no bots would be allowed at the Steamworks until King Asgore is ready to begin mass production. This is classified. Most of all, have fun. Interesting. Must be the manager's office. Surely they had access to all the passcodes. Let's check this file cabinet. Hold on. Look here. Performance reports for all factory employees. A, B. Yeah. One sixteen twenty XX. Mr. Chujin pitched his blueprints for a guard bot of sort. He called it Project Access. Three nineteen Access Model One was presented to Asgore, but was swiftly rejected. The poor thing couldn't stay powered up for more than six seconds. Five ten Access Model Four backfired and shot one of its gloves at the king. This is getting embarrassing. Axis Model 7 refused to enter the throne room. Asgore gave Chunjin one more shot after incessant pleading. I know he's a smart engineer, but if the next showcase goes south... Well, this is it. Model 8 booted up and seemed to be stable for a moment. That was until a malfunction occurred and sparks began to emit from the body. In the chaos, one spark leaped onto Asgore's flower bed. A fire ignited but was swiftly put out. Please leave. Leave and do not return. I apologize deeply, but as we are, us monsters simply are ready to bypass the barrier. You know this deep down. I know you do. 
Access is the solution you need. The solution I need is a reliable one. One that won't set fire to our homes. If this is about my... It isn't. I thank you for your service to society. But I'm afraid Monster Kind's freedom belongs in more capable hands. Capable hands, he says. Look at Axis now. The true realization of Chujin's vision. He far exceeds any model Asgard ever saw. A while back, she built a robot, too. Once so lifelike, it got her position she has now. It must have been real impressive. So impressive that Asgore kicked the other visionaries to the curb. I understand now why Chujin never shared this with me. He must have been absolutely gutted hearing those words. Screw the royals, the politics, all the red tape. This clover, this is why the mission is so important. You can't trust these closed-minded gatekeepers to do anything right. Not for a second. So we're here for the code, right? Mom? Let's go. Yeah, Mom? You want, you want to talk about it? You want to... You want to... You want to talk about it? There's no point in wallowing what I read here. Jujin was a monster of secrets. I already knew that. I just wish he was more transparent with his struggles. I could have helped him through it. I would have. Maybe all this, my situation... It wouldn't be this way if it did. If I didn't assume everything was fine and really paid attention, I... I know. I just said I wouldn't wallow. Live in the present and plan for the future. That's what Chujin always did, so that's what I must do. Well? Richard B. Oni. Engineering Certificate. Today's elevator passcode, 2082. go hello i welcome you into my body ew wherever would you like to go top floor did you say basement get us to the roof out of here i carry a negative opinion of you heading to out of here sorry for all the outbursts all of this is... It's a lot to process. Bet you're pretty tired of learning about me, so... What about you? <gasps> Mike. You're not exactly a talker, so I don't know much. Why are you here in the first place? Did you simply trip and fall into the underground? I'm curious. I'm on a personal mission. You wanted to find out what happened to those kids. A noble mission. Takes guts. I'm assuming you haven't found them yet, though. We've arrived of out of here! Well, uh, better get moving. Uh, unlock sweaty mode. Ah, damn it. 
fine. I'm guessing this is our ticket out of here. Just have to, uh, why don't you take a stab at it? Technology and I don't exactly mix well. A daunting array of screens and buttons lie before you. You press one of the buttons. Robotics control status functioning at 70%. Awaiting input. Main directory. Info. Steam Workstation R system. OS Delta version. Called processor Ultra McTurbo Core. Installed physical memory 500 megabytes. Graphics card error. Robots control status functioning at 78. Awaiting. Error. Information classified. Loading. Estimated time remaining nine hours. Feature blocked. Custom message. Trying to play video games on the job? Please report to the head office. We have a pink colored gift for you. Oh, a pink slip. That's hilarious. Select your option. Emergency shutdown. Shut down all health robots within the vicinity. Yes. Attempting shutdown. Could not complete task. Just kidding. Emergency shutdown complete. I hope that worked. It's unfortunate access had to end up this way. Maybe I should now. I wish Chujin's project could thrive, but a line had to be drawn. I can't dwell in the past any longer. Let's go. I have a feeling that's not the last we're going to see of him, though. Oh. It's pretty. You spot some gravity granola inside the machine. Not enough space. I forgot! Me put... My... Put my gunpowder in there. I have a feeling we're gonna have to fight them now. Hey! Who did that? Clover, you can hear me, right? I'm gonna try to blast a hole through this thing. It's not working, Mom. It's gonna take a lot to break through to think we were almost free of this place. Look around for a switch or keypad. There's always one near doors. Main power source not found. Initiating emergency backup power. Did I just hear Axis? Human, you tried to shut me down. I've had it with you and your friend thwarting my plans. I'm this close to directing all my steam into my rude finger. And yes, I am yelling. My typography box just lacks the exclamation point character. A shame, but at least I have question marks? Clover. I don't think we can outrun this guy any longer. Try to find a peaceful way to outwit him. I don't want his creation smashed to bits. Outwit, maybe? Outgun, never. I am ticked off and out of non-lethal options. Prepare yourself, I am attacking now. What? My programming is preventing me from attack. It says you are not a current threat or resisting arrest. Ugh, forget this. I will make you a threat. Hold this, it suits you. There, now you have a drawn weapon. Loopholes are wonderful, are they not? Time to die. Ooh. You ready your trusty shield for whatever awaits? What are you doing with that lid? It was not supposed to be useful. That is cheating.
A bit intense for his day. My... Oh shit. Also, that lined up with my follow up on timer like perfectly. Oh my god. Alrighty. That might be the end of the follow up on, but I am at least going to try to finish this boss battle. You feel the furnace's heat and wave engulf you. Axis. Today means the surface. What was that? What did I say? Not a word. Why did I say that? Death by metal and magic. You ready to trust the shield? Oh, fuck. Fuck. I do want to try this fight again. Clearly, Axis wouldn't build the last. Take a mat, I'm sure of it. Alright. This is an unfortunate. My chips. Potato chips. My chisps. Damn it. Kick it to the fiery pit below us. Simple. Oh, fuck. Green tea. He's toxic. Damn it. 
Oh, okay. So I have to be on that. Okay. Okay. So like somewhere, somewhere right here. There we go. That is enough. Unbeknownst to you, I brought a backup plan. Portable generators, infinite battery. Good luck. Clover, I'm almost through. Whatever you're doing, it seems to be working. Keep at it. I can hear you. You do think you're so smart. I do not run on juice. I do not run at all. I roll, obviously. I can't, I, I can't. Oh my god. Seriously? I'm reaching unheard levels of ticked. Level 7 at least, your fault. Is this what life has really come to? Screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you. This attacks fuck me up so bad. Granola. You can really taste all 9.8 meters. Not like me at low battery. I'm warning you not to drain it. And there we go. Good job holding your own while I was occupied. He seems pretty dazed. One more shock should do him in. Let's end this. Shutting off strenuous emotions to save power. Ah, what did you do to me? I don't feel an utter murderous rage anymore. I do not know what to do with myself. Suppose I will stare blankly at you until you do something. Plan B. You asked Soroba to present your metallic creation. Of course. Hey, Axis. What? How do you feel about second dates? Like a calendar? Oh my god, look at them! What is this? This feeling? Uh oh. Soulmate located! Oh my god. What a little nerd! Perfection personified! Where's this beauty been all my life? Holy. 
the shimmer, the complexion, the curves. There are no curves on there. Okay, that's enough. Clover, let's uh, wrap this up. This emotion, it feels so nice. I must thank you for opening my eyes. I had no idea such wondrous sights existed. Glad we could finally reach a level of civility. Can I keep them? Whoa, slow down. Here. Do you want to know a secret? Yes, I would like to know a secret. They told me that they like you, but will only go out if it's casual. Get to know them a little first, you know? Ask what their name is or something. Okay. All right, good. Give it a shot. Hello, my name is Axis. What is your name? Haha, <laughs> you are so funny. You want to get married? Hey, remember what we talked about? They said yes. What? I am honestly just as surprised as you. This rocks. I'm happy for you then. Not to rain on the parade, but uh, we gotta go. Go where? Hotland. A business trip. I wish you a pleasant journey. Backup battery extremely low. Please recharge. Oh, suppose I should go do that. Recharging will restore me back to my factory state, but... Added, how did human and tall lady to authorize lists? There. Now I will not attempt apprehension next we meet. Thank you, Axis. You have a good life. I will try. Oh, one more thing. You said your husband was my creator. Would you tell him that I miss him? He was always very kind to me. Yeah, I'll tell him. Oh, who, who's going to tell the robot he's dead? Thank you. Goodbye. Let's go, Mom. We've had enough trauma for one day. I gotta say, that was pretty entertaining. Glad we could bypass Axis without destroying him. Yeah, he cute little guy. Turns out you're a pretty damn good leader, Clover. I don't know why I doubted. Right. I see your exit up ahead. We're close. Ugh. Let's not venture off the path. I've had enough steam works for the day. I'm curious as to what is up ahead, but I will be ending soon. I know we just had a save point, so that would have been a perfect time to end. But I will end at the next save point. We actually made it. Let's hope this elevator works. Next up, the lab. The emotions will run high. What are you planning to do with the lab? Oh, it's Starlo. Oh, it's them. It's it's the boys. At the very least, hopefully we can save again before we hop into the elevator. Uh, and we'll do all the emotional crap next time. We'll see. But what are you doing here? The gang and I were planning a return party for you. Thought it was a great idea, especially for Kanako. That's very kind of you. Yeah, well, we went to your old house to spruce it up. After all, this would be the perfect time to move back in. Ed, what did you find while cleaning? Uh, I was sweeping the floor and spotted something. An almost invisible trap door. An entrance. Saroba? What's actually going on here? What really happened to Kanako? No, why? Quit mumbling to yourself and speak up. Why did you need Clover? I don't want this to escalate, so tell the truth. Oh, no. Is she trying to put, because the human soul with the dust bullshit? Is she trying to do that? I have to go. Clover, come on. Saroba! Ed, take Clover back home and keep watch. I'll chase after her. Right. <laughs> he just grabs me. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, wait, I forgot about this part. 
What do you mean you forgot? I thought this was the emotional part. Oh, hey, are we back home? Or back in the town? I just like this place. Ugh. I'm never traveling via laundry chute again. Ed, you're back. And Clover, too? I was worried sick about you. Where's Star? Saroba ran away, so we chased after her. Alone? Why did you let him do that? Star knows Saroba more than anyone, Moray. Well, I'm not so sure of that anymore. Uh, Clover! Moray messaged me about you being in danger. So I dropped what I was doing and flew over here. Why'd you get feathers involved, Moray? I don't know why his voice changed. Just thought she deserved to No, She can help. Thank you for reaching out. I heard that you found something in Saroba's old house. What was it? Didn't have the time to look over everything closely. But it raised some serious concerns. Papers. Tapes. Belonging to Chujin. Way too scientific for me. Clover and I could scope it out. No way. I was told to keep Clover here. There's a potential threat to their life. There's always a potential threat to their life. If anyone can fix this, it's Clover. Fine. Just stay on track. Can't have them running away or nothing. Know the way? I believe so. Okay. I'll meet you there. I still have to finish explaining everything to the group. Until then, come on, Clover. Shit. Hey, before we go, I need to apologize. I shouldn't have let Saroba take you. I just... I really thought I could trust her. We all did. And what I had to take care of in Snowden was far too important. You know what? Doesn't matter anymore. Let's focus on what Ed told us. Concerns regarding Chujin, he said. Surely it's nothing, right? Chujin was almost like a father to me. I don't know where I'd be in life without him. I'll let you lead. Just head to Oasis Valley. Nice to see you again, by the way. Alright. Alright, so... I did say... Uh... I did say next, um... Next, uh... Next thingy. I would go ahead and end it because I need to eat dinner and go to bed fairly soon. Um, however, I know exactly who we're going to raid. So, first of all, the timer has hit zero. So I thank everybody for coming out Go to bed. Yes, I have an early freaking shift. So I need to eat dinner, do a few minor things, then go to bed. All right. So thank you, everybody who came out for the follow th I came at the end. I'm sorry, Arka. So thank you, everyone who has supported me throughout the follow a thon. It has been a wild ride, but we did it. 24 hours interrupted, of course, but streaming with purpose. It was kind of nice. Delete. Delete the timer. We don't need it where we're going. I must at least wee music you. Thank you. Do not worry, Arca, because you can continue to stay and help me raid River. All right. River is currently drawing, I believe, sticker designs for her shop or just general art points. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for tuning in. 
Um, I believe next up on my, excuse me, calendar. So tomorrow I will be extremely busy, but Saturday I want to attempt to finish Undertale Yellow. I don't know how far in I am, but I feel like I'm really close to the end. So Saturday we are going to attempt to finish this game. Either way, Saturday will be my next stream day. I was going to go there anyway when you said you were ending. Get some rest. Of course. All right, everybody. Y'all be nice to River. I'll be over there fishing for a little while. Thank you again for the follow-up on numbers, and I'll see you tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Saturday. Bye-bye. <laughs>